Hello, and welcome back to Tea with Tracy. Coming to you, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talk in all things real estate, home ownership, and community related. Well, today we are continuing on with our local business entrepreneur series. And my guest today is none other than Ryan Anderson. Hello, Hello Ryan. Hello, thank you for having me. Thanks for coming on. And you are one of the partners of Standard & Co. Cafe, yes. right? Yes. And uh, located in what was, I don't know if it's still called GLAC, but the Great Lakes Athletic Club, is it still, are they keeping the name right now? They are, yeah. Okay, yep. all right. So yep. it's still that, but now owned by the Orion Township yes. um, Parks and Rec. And uh, so very excited to have you on. I know yeah. We've been trying to we've been trying to schedule this for at least six months. Yeah, I think. it's been so a hot minute. Yeah, it's it's been a little bit, and yep. like different things have come up, but here we are. Yes, so. I'm very thankful. Yeah, so thank so, you for being persistent. So it's yeah, something I've wanted to do. So yeah, well I'm, glad I'm we can make it work. well and and same. You know, I mean, it took both of us still communicating. So I'm so happy to have you here yeah. today and and to chat. So yeah. Yeah. um, it's very exciting mm -hmm. that uh, the the cafe. So now, how long has Standard and Co been? in existence yes so uh, technically if we're signing documents wise since april 1st of okay. 2023 uh, okay. we opened our doors june 22nd okay um and actually we weren't even actually planning on opening that day we we're actually going to be that weekend and yeah the three owners and the crew and the management uh were all there and we had just got done with the training and we were yeah. like why should like we just did it in the morning we we're like why yeah. should we wait and yeah. so i opened the doors and i looked at everybody and i said hey guys we're open <laughs> And uh, the, the, the people who were at the uh, the front desk of the GLAC were like, what? And I was like, can I make an announcement? So our, you know, one of our partners, Brett, said for yeah. the very first time, we're open. And it was off to the races from there. That's awesome. Yeah. I love it. I um, So not in recent years, but I have been a member of GLAC or mm -hmm. had been for many years. And um, and I know that, you know, the, the cafe there actually had closed down quite a while ago. Yeah. Um, so it was just something that, um, right, it was just hard to keep both a gym yeah. and uh, food and beverage service going. And so that was something that it, it was no longer there. And I think it was missed. And it yeah. was something that members um, really did miss having mm -hmm. there. Um, so so how did it come to be that that you and your partners yeah. <laughs> decided, hey, we're going to, because that's not your background, right? No. Like your background, you're, you're a loan officer and yep. mortgages. Also, I should say thank you for your service. Well, you, you are a yeah. veteran. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's. Uh, yeah, not anything that we'd ever done before. <laughs> um, so yeah. like probably uh, other people who are patrons of the gym, um, selfishly, we just wanted to be able to get like a smoothie yeah. or a wrap or a bite to eat or just have a place to work out, at, you know, work yeah. and work out of yeah. um, just to make for convenience wise. So, yeah. um, you know, uh, I joined the gym in like summer of 2020, like as soon okay. as things kind of started to open back up. Yeah. Um, and then I brought my workout buddy and my partner, Ryan Kelly, um, at the cafe in with me. And, and he grew up in Lake Orion. He used to go to the GLAC when he was growing up, all that other stuff. Yeah. So he wanted to get back to it too. Yeah. And um, it just kind of came to fruition in getting to know the ownership of the gym and the general management that they wanted to, they had a need obviously because it had been actually the, the cafe had been closed down prior to COVID. Yeah. And so there was a, a huge opportunity hole really in yeah. the, in the GLAC to, um, to be able to have something that serviced the members there. And so Ryan and I just said, well, we can do it. We'll do it. We'll figure it out. And yeah. so we kind of uh, started along, along this long path until we met and, and kind of brought in our partner, Brett, who has – uh, a ton of food experience yeah. and restaurants and stuff. You like brought that. in so the experience. We, we, so brought, you we brought in the expert. So, yeah. Yeah. So, so don't fear. There's a lot of experience yes, when, yes. It, when it comes to this. Yes. So, yep. Yeah. Yep. And yeah, he had all the strategic partnerships as far as, uh, you know, food vendors and how to kind of run and get things set up and, and starting looking for the criteria for the cafe crew members and, you know, some of the menu items. And yeah. Um, I, so I'm a huge foodie and I love yeah. food. Cooking is probably like, I always say food's like one of my love languages. Yeah. And, um, and so <laughs> I'm I, right there with you. Yeah. yeah. And so yeah. I, I was like, I was yeah. so excited. I was stoked to like help create this menu. But like when you sit down and you're like, okay, you know, we have to, th I, I'm sitting here thinking like, well, I like this or I like this. Right, I'm right. like, yeah, dude, but like other people aren't you. <laughs> Actually, everybody else isn't you, so you have to create this really robust menu. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, we put a lot of time and effort and stuff like that into that, and it just kind of okay. all started coming together. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. So so you started on this journey, and um, so, okay, we'll, we'll just we'll 
touch on this and then we'll we'll move on because you know there are a lot of there's a lot of information that goes on out about there and a lot of speculation (laughs) and with the gym you know just being bought by the township you know there's a lot of things going on and being said um but just to clarify Mm -hmm. your company your cafe had nothing to do like you were separate like other than having a lease that needed to be honored. Yes, yes. <laughs> you have nothing to do. You had no idea who was going to purchase it or yeah. when that would take place, right? I, I mean, no, we in fact we were we were surprised just as everybody else was. There was yeah. uh, you know, a point in time where we were all in the cafe and we're doing our thing and then next thing you know, there's starting to be like a couple groups that come through and they're like, yeah. "Hey, we're and and like people who weren't even asking permission to go through the kitchen and all this other stuff." And I'm like, "Wait a minute." You're like, "Wait, you like, can't be here." Yeah, like y'all aren't us. Like we got to <laughs> right, figure yeah. out. So so then through, you know, conversations with the, the management and the owners of the gym, we found out that it was for sales going through all these other things. So, yeah, yeah we, we were we obviously separate entity of right. Orion uh, Township and, and the gym as it was and is that is now. Yeah. Um, but super excited that, you know, we're yeah. able to partner with the, with the township. That is so awesome. And I am I'm one of those who's very excited that the township has made the purchase. Yeah. Um, I came from a community that had a a community center, Mm -hmm. you know, that had a gym and a pool and all of those things. So I just see a lot of great things coming, um, in the future with the township having ownership. Of course, there's going to be a few little growing pains, but, um, there's with everything, but yes, but, and very excited that there's going to be a strong food and beverage service in there. But, but that's something that it's no longer, whereas when it used to be the gym's cafe, the only way you could get to the cafe was when you came came in and you checked into the gym and you yep. came through that way. But that's not the case any longer. No. Right? Yeah. yeah. So so in, in some of our initial negotiations to wanting to open up the cafe, we were like, hey, guys, um, not only do we want to as members of the GLAC, we want to be able to service our fellow you know, gym goers. Yeah. But we want to open this thing up to everybody. Yeah. And so uh, in doing so, you know, we kind of negotiated and they were generous enough to be able to let us kind of have some creative or uh, creative uh, artistic, you know, yeah. ideas come to fruition. So. Um, we actually blew out like a whole wall and now we have our own patio, our own seating. Uh, we have our own entrance. So if you're not a member of the Great Lakes Athletic Club, we're still open to the public. You can still come in through the separate entrance. It's not as intimidating. You don't have to go through the gym entrance and have to explain that you're not a member of the gym and all that other stuff. I'm just here for my smoothie. I just, I just want to wrap in a salad, man. So, um, so yeah, so we, we did that. I mean, that's probably one of our very first things that we did. Okay. Um, and between Ryan, Brett and I, manual labor wise, um, yeah. We dug it all out. We brought in, you know, a backhoe and dump trucks and all this other you stuff. You did that ourselves. yourself? We did a very oh vast my. majority of it ourselves. Yeah, we, we hired a cement crew and then we yeah. hired a company to come in and place the door in the glass properly. Sure. Yeah. Outside yeah. of that, yeah, everything else was done by us. Wow. So. Okay. So very ambitious. The yeah. three of you are very, yeah. <laughs> very I, I ambitious. Yeah. I mean, like, so. you know, who better than us? To right. Do that, right. Yeah. <laughs> so. But I love that you did that it's open to the public mm-hmm. um, because the three of you are very community oriented mm-hmm. and your fathers and. Um, so, you know, that you want to make that a space that's open to yeah. everyone. Um, I love it. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. so a little bit of the history of like what we what it was and what we want it to be. So Ryan Kelly, our partner, he grew up in Lake Orion, um, yeah. graduated from Lake Orion. He remembers going there. His wife, Kelsey, huge hand and a gigantic help in helping us because men brain work very differently than women. <laughs> brain. I'm so grateful Just a little for bit, her. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But um, and, and all the wives and everybody else has done that, too. But. They remember because Kelsey used to work in the cafe back in the day, and oh. so she remembers as like oh a teenager gosh, I working probably there. Probably know her then. I, yeah, but I guarantee you. <laughs> I right? Probably I do. Mean, yeah, yeah, her and her sister worked there. Her mom yeah. helped all that other stuff. So we're like, this is what it used to be. We want to kind of return it and like magnify it into what its old glory used to be. Yeah. So, um, being able to kind of bring and be a part of the community from what it was, and then wanting to incorporate and integrate it with it, what it's going to be and what it's going to be now, especially with the the township you know, acquiring it, wanting it to turning the gym into a community center. Yeah. But really focusing on keeping intact the gym part. Yeah. Um, we're like, well, this is just the best way for us to be able to do that because yeah. outside of the cafe, again, with some of our other business experiences, we can bring a lot of people into the cafe that might not even really necessarily know about the community center. Right. And so right. Um, obviously, you know, that all the nice synergy. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And, yeah. and like, they say community, obviously Lake Orion being the community because the township owns it, but like there's other communities that go there, right? Yep. So we have yes. Oxford, we have Clarkston, we have people yep. that come maybe from a little bit up north. Yep. Um, and so there's a lot of good people that come there yeah. and we want to be able to help like, hey, this doesn't have to just be a, just a Lake Orion thing. It doesn't have to be just a gym membership thing. Right. It can be like a really good spot for everybody. And so because of that, you know, 
great workspace atmosphere. I mean, I know people who go to Starbucks and they call Starbucks their office. Yeah. But like Starbucks is great, but it's yeah. also probably a little bit loud, a little bit busy. The music's overly loud, whatever. Yeah. I mean, we have a 2200 square foot space that you could sit yeah. on a comfy couch. You could grab a table. You could pretty much do whatever you want. Yeah. Um, and we see, we have a lot of people that come in there and read. We have groups that meet in there for like Bible studies and stuff like that. So um, we just want to make it like a kind of a catch all place yeah. And, yeah. and then also have the opportunity to grab like a really good cup of coffee it's, and a smoothie or something. It's the new meetup and hangout yeah. spot. That's well, and that's, oh. that's what they used yeah. to be. Right. Yeah. So yep. yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And so, okay. So speaking of how like community focused you are, you do have a lot of different things that you do. And you were mentioning yeah. like Tuesdays, right? Yeah. Kids eat free. And yep. so what are some of the, you know, what are some of the outreach Yes. Things that you're doing. Yeah. So, yeah. so, um, you know, obviously the three of us being fathers, we'd love yeah. to be able to have invite as many kids as possible. Yeah. Um, so yeah, kids eat free on Tuesday, um, or the purchase of an entree by an adult, right? It's not sure. like your, your 12 year old can come in and be like, I need a free <laughs> meal. Um, give me some food. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, we have that. Um, yeah. we also have, uh, gosh, I mean, we have a ton of stuff. We have catering menus. Um, we have, oh, Flip Wednesdays. That's probably oh. one of the fun things. So okay. so say uh, we have something called a standard combo where you can get a discount if you get a, sm uh, a smoothie and a wrap. Okay. Uh, but at checkout, you say, do you want to, you want to do the flip Wednesday, and if you if it's heads or tails, if you guess it right, you get fifty percent off your order. Wow! Right? So okay, just like fun stuff that like is that. Fun. Yeah, we, we have kids eat free. We have those. We have uh, free coffee for senior citizens. Okay. We offer military, uh, both retired, active duty, and um, and veterans uh, and uh, first responders ten percent off their meals at all times. Okay. Um, and then we just have like a lot of different things we wanted. We have catering orders. We obviously co uh, committed to uh, participating with schools. Okay. So we work yeah. a lot with Oxford Lake Orient. And, and Clarkston uh, for the football programs, sport programs, and stuff like that too. So that's awesome. Yeah. So, what are your hours like? Since mm -hmm. you are, you know, you can access outside of the gym. Are your hours the same? Are they what? Yeah. Are, what are the hours? So originally they were the exact same as the gym. Okay. Um, with the transition of a couple of the things with the gym, and then transition from summer into into fall and fall into winter and so on and so forth. Yeah. We kind of noticed um, there was a couple of hours in the morning where maybe we weren't as busy and at night. So we're open during the peak hours of the gym. So sure. we're seven to seven Monday through Friday, seven okay. to five. Um, on Saturdays, and then we're actually closed on Sundays. Okay. Um, which we're actually thinking about reevaluating. Um, yeah. Just because there's been obviously a lot more people coming in on Sundays and stuff like that. We don't yeah. want to have the opportunity to miss serving those people. Sure. Um, but just for right now, it kind of made sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. It helps give the staff like a little bit of an extra day off. Too. Yeah. A little yeah. bit of a break. That's yeah. always good. Go to be, sure. be able to go to church, at least yeah. that's what I do on Sunday mornings. Yeah. But <laughs> yep. Yep, for sure. <laughs> but, um, but one of the things I was excited to hear too is that because I am, I have been looking at reinstating now that the township has purchased my membership yes. at Clack, and um one of those reasons is because not just for the gym but yeah. the pool yeah. i really miss the pool in the <laughs> summer and i was very excited to hear when you said that there can be poolside service yeah i mean so, i was so excited about that just because yeah. the the idea of you know we if it's a if it's a community and it's a you know great lakes athletic if it's a club mm -hmm. right the word club in the term of that is like it needs to be kind of an all inclusive thing. It's right. something that's fun. So obviously yeah. if you're back by the pool, you're a member of the Great Lakes Athletic Club. Yeah. Um uh so what we wanted to do is we kind of took over one of like the back rooms. Uh yeah. and uh, you can actually so first and foremost, we have a full menu that's back over by the pool. Um you we have grab and go items that you can order right there. I mean, you can have chips, snacks, drinks, everything right poolside that's available right there. Okay. Uh we also have usually have uh, one or two staff members that walk around with handhelds and will take your order right at your seat so you don't have to get up. There you go. Um, or you can walk to the, you know, you can walk to the window and order it and then, you know, within a couple minutes we're we're bringing it out. We have a pager system. Okay. So, yeah, I hand you, you know, pager number bit, 8 yeah. as soon as it rings, then you know your food's there, right? So That's awesome. Yeah, that was uh that was a really really um it was kind of crazy honestly. <laughs> <laughs> to kind of navigate well, yeah, you said you just opened your doors in June. Yeah. And I mean, that's right in the middle of yeah. that season. And, so. Yeah, nope. And yeah. Uh, we did that strategically, though. We wanted to yeah. be able to, like, like you know, throw us in the deep end with just, like, just weights like, on, yeah, you know, yeah. and, and we're going to figure out how to swim. So <laughs> Throw you in the deep end with the weights on your ankles yes. and just, let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Yep. Um, okay. So we, we I don't want to say, we had some trial and error. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
course. Uh, when yeah. it came to like the the getting the order and finding out, you know, who it was and all that other stuff. So, but right. we landed on a really good system. Okay. Um, you know, probably a quarter way through the summer, everybody was really happy about it. We got some really good feedback from, you know, the people who were ordering stuff from us and yeah. Uh, people were getting their food faster, hotter, better, and all that other stuff. That's so awesome. So see, you learned how to swim real fast. Real quick. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> real fast. Yeah. So, well, it sounds like things are really off to a great start, yeah. and uh, I'm excited. Um, you know, so again, it's so something for people to keep in mind. If you are getting together with friends or networking, yep. or I mean, you can come in. You don't have to be a member to yeah. be able to stop in. So. What are some of the, like, what are, you said you have a robust menu, but yeah. what are some of the things that are kind of like the the hot items? Yeah. That, so, yeah. so obviously, um, you know, we're standard and co cafe and yeah. we being inside of a gym, um, our smoothies are, I'm trying not to sound biased as possible. <laughs> our smoothies are phenomenal. Really, yeah. all of our food is very good. And, yeah. and me well, not Well, I mean, being, being a foodie, barometer. you have to love it, yeah. right? Well, so, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's yeah. like, I just need you to try it. I promise <laughs> you, I'm not fibbing to you. But right. um, I mean, if my kids like it, who are picky, and, and yeah. to be also fair, and I'd say this if they're right in front of me, Ryan and Brett are probably the two pickiest <laughs> human eaters I've ever met. And they love our stuff, right? right. So um, as far as the menu goes, I mean, literally anything, we just, uh, as of January 6th, we just expanded our entire menu. We got some really good feedback from the people who were coming in uh, about things that they wanted to see, things that they might have thought we needed to change or lacking. And then we also uh, took a look at sales and national sales to find out what things were were being ordered uh, in the the community. So um, we even started with breakfast. We have really good flat bre- breakfast flatbreads. Ooh, um, that sounds yeah, good. Yeah, like the, the banana, peanut butter, and honey breakfast flatbread. Oh. Phenomenal. Um, but then we also <laughs> we did, like, you know, you have your breakfast wraps and, or wraps and sandwiches, bagels, things like that. Yeah. Um, and then all the way up through lunch, any type of wrap, sandwich. Uh, we added a, a new uh, a standard BLT with avocado on it. It's phenomenal. Okay. <laughs> uh, like, you get the really good thick bread. Yeah. Oh, so good. And yes. then, obviously, fall, winter time, we offer some really, really good soups. Um, we do partner with Desert, o- or Desert Oasis Coffee Roasters. Ooh, so, love them. Um, yeah, I mean, phenomenal coffee brand. Yeah. They've done such a good job cultivating their just community and like what their brand is. And um, I'm fortunate enough to be able to be friends with the owners and, yeah. and work with them a couple uh, of times. So, you know, being able to offer their coffee the way that they do it, like the authenticity uh, yeah. of what they provide is like one of our key like, yeah. focuses for the cafe. Um, cause we have people that come in specifically for that coffee, yeah. which is great. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, we have, uh, salads, wraps, uh, to go items, all the, you know, the whole nine pre-workout. We actually have supplements as well. Wow. So okay. being that we're in a gym, uh, right. it kind of yep. always makes sense. Yeah. So, you know, protein <laughs> bars and stuff. I mean, literally it robust is, we have quite a bit. Okay. So if you haven't been in to check it out yet, then you need to at least stop in and yeah. see, see what's on the menu. Yep. Um, Give something to try. I mean, you're making me hungry. I yeah. might be like, as soon as we finish, wrap this up. Yeah, I might have to- let's go. Yeah. <laughs> let's go. Yep. So, yep. but no. uh, all right. Well, is there anything else that, that we should know about Standard & Co. Cafe? Yeah, I mean, I think really the the big thing, and I'm going to call it a hurdle, mm-hmm. um, is just being able to know and have everybody know that you do yeah. not need to be a member to right. be able to enjoy the cafe. Yeah. So I get that it's a little bit off the road. Probably a little intimidating. They and it's hard to be able to see that there is a separate entrance. We're working on signage, and we've been the township's been great on helping us kind of get to that point. Yeah. Um. But I mean, I mean, I personally, you know, run some of my businesses out of there uh, yeah. several times. We have groups that meet there. Um. We've helped. We've hosted educational events. Um. We've hosted. I mean, uh, staff meetings. Like oh, the whole nine. There's yeah. plenty of space to be able to do that without having to number one necessarily pay for a space. Um, we do have an opportunity to where if you wanted to hold a birthday or do something like that, we have space in the back that you could run out. We have our own catering menus. Yeah. We've catered to anywhere from, you know, just a couple of smaller groups to like whole brand new, like grand openings for businesses. Wow. So that oh, catering so as well. That's something to keep in mind for some of the, the businesses around as you're yeah. doing your ribbon cuttings exactly and you right. need something that's exactly catered. Yeah. yeah, there's a, so. there's a, there's a financial institution that opened and, and yeah. they, they charged us with the catering for it and it went awesome. swimmingly. So it was great. That's yeah, so fantastic. Um, I would personally love not only to be able to see um, more people kind of come in from the cafe uh, or for, to the cafe from the gym side, yeah. um, but 
would really, really invite any community member uh, at all to come check it out, even if it's just a cup of coffee or a smoothie or whatever. Yeah. Um, our prices are hands down by a lot lower than any smoothie place or yeah. fast food place you're going to get. And I promise you the quality will be you know, just as good, if not better. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And yeah. and you know what? With that new roundabout that's right there, it's actually very easy to get into yeah. the parking lot. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead and just swing through. You'll just be all right. Right, yep. right, exactly right on through. So, yeah. well, if anybody would like to meet you in person yeah. and have a cup of coffee, yep. you can be found at Standard & Co. I am Cafe. there often. Yeah. <laughs> I'm there often. Yeah. Please. I'd love so. it. I would love an opportunity to meet people and just... Um, you know, talk just community and talk yeah. businesses and talk opportunities for us to be able to help them and help us. Or, and by help, I mean like, do you want a cup of coffee? Yeah. Right? Give me something simple. Yeah. So. That's fantastic. Anything? Did we miss anything? Uh, you know, I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. I mean, uh, yeah, follow <laughs> us on Instagram and, okay. and follow us on Facebook. Yeah. You know, we do, um, you know, we do uh, like a VIP texting group for group do, uh, discounts, giveaways, stuff like that. We yeah. often post. Um, you know, some things like that on our Instagram stories and reels and stuff like that as well. So, okay. um, so yeah, I mean, just it, give us your support it means the entire world to us. Stop in and, and check it out. And we love open and honest feedback. So if there's something you want to see, let us know. All right. Sounds Thanks. great. Well, thank you so much, Ryan. Yeah, I'm so you. glad this worked out. So thank yeah. you for joining me. I appreciate it. So thank you. I appreciate you. And uh, thank you all for tuning in. And we'll see you next time on Tea with Tracy.